so out on a little journey where are we going I've been working down in Lid for the last week or so so Filthy Phil decided to have a little wander around this little corner of Kent where I was and happened to go to Dungeness some of you may have heard of Dungeness as a site of one of the oldest nuclear power stations in Britain. It's a very strange peninsula that sticks out into the English Channel, made up of shingle bank. It's a bleak and desolate looking place, but yet beautiful plants all around. What's also strange about Dungeness is the miniature railway that runs from high through Dimchurch and was extended out onto the Dungeness Peninsula and does a loop around and its quirky miniature sides is quite a sight to behold with people in, in carriages that look like they're giants sitting in a little train carriage. There are several lighthouses on the peninsula because as the shingle bank grew and the sea receded the lighthouses needed to be nearer to the coast. What's also striking is the array of fishermen's cottages. Some look very swish and look like they've had a designer or two and some serious amount of money to change them from a humble fisherman's cottage to something quite wanky. It's also famous for having the house of the filmmaker Derek Jarman. Derek Jarman's little cottage is quite cute and beautiful and the garden is quite stunning for such a desolate place. On the side of Prospect Cottage, where Derek Jarman lived his last days, is a poem by John Dunn. The Sun Rising by John Dunn. Busy old fool, unruly son, why dost thou thus, through windows and through curtains, call on us? Must to thy motions, lovers, seasons run? Saucy pedantic wretch, go chide late schoolboys and sour prentices. Go tell court huntsmen that the king will ride. Call country ants to harvest offices. Love, all alike, no season knows, nor clime, nor hours, days, months, which are the rags of time. Thy beams, so reverend and strong, why shouldst thou think? I could eclipse and cloud them with a wink, but that I would not lose her sight so long. If her eyes have not blinded thine, look, and tomorrow late, tell me whether both the Indias of spice and mine be where thou leftest them, or lie here with me. Ask for those kings whom thou sawest yesterday, and thou shalt hear, all here in one bed lay. She's all states, and all princes I, nothing else is. Princes do but play us. Compared to this, all honors mimic all wealth alchemy. Thou, son, art half as happy as we, in that the world's contracted thus. Thine age asks ease, and since thy duties be to warm the world, that's done in warming us. Shine here to us, and thou art everywhere. This bed thy center is, these walls thy sphere. <laughs>